Excel gives you a great way to format date and times. For example, over here on the left, I got the dates in the regular format. So over here, uh, if you want to type in dates, then simply add in numbers over here, either use dash or uh, either use, uh, let's say, for example, 12, uh, 23, 23. There you go. So if you were to do that, then you can see that this converts into date automatically. So over here, I got the dates right here. So right now, it's in the short date format, which is the default format. And if you want to change it into long date, you can actually click over here and change it to long date right there. So that gives a long date format over here. Optionally, you can go to more number formats over here and then select different type of dates. For example, you can select these type of dates, these type of dates and so forth. So you can actually have this type of date as well. So let's select this one, press OK. And there you go, you got the date uh, that you wish for. Uh, then again, you can do a manual type of dates. For example, you can go to custom and over here you can see that there are different type of dates right here. For example, the MMMMM stands for the month, D stands for the number of the date and Y stands for year. So let me just change that into manually just like this. So I'm going to say DDDD, uh, so that's going to be the day and MMMM, that's going to be the full month, and YYYY, that's going to be the full year. So I'm going to press OK, and you can see the day, you can see the month, and the year. Let's say I want to change that out, so I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to go into, go into uh, the more number format right here. So that's DD. So I'm going to add in another D, that's going to be an example. For example, Sunday, 1st December 2003. So I'm going to add in a comma or something. You can see that I can do that just like that. So I'm going to add in a comma here and there just like that. If I were to just add in DDD, it's going to be an abbreviation of the day as you can see. And if I'm going to decrease the M, so that's going to be an abbreviation of the year just like that. So I can decrease this right here and you can see that you see the number over here just like that. You can decrease just like that. So MMM, so press OK. And there you go, you see the date just like that. Uh, let's say you just want to uh, have the day over there. So for that, what I can do is I can go over here onto the custom format. So I do, do not want anything but just the day. So I, I can have D, 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 D and press OK. So D, 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 press OK. You see just uh, the day uh, for that date right here. So there are different ways to format the dates as you can see according to what you want. Same thing goes to the time time over here. So you can simply go over here, choose time, and there you go, you get the time. So you can also go over here into more number formats, and you can select different types of time that you want. So 1.30 p.m. and so forth. Press OK, and there you go, you get that time right there. You can also subtract time actually, so minus uh, so let's say for example, I want to uh, subtract the timings. So what I can do is I can do equals 12 minus two, equals to so this is the format that you get all right so this is the incorrect format equals 12 minus 11 just like that and you get you can see that you have one hour but you do not really want am over there because you just want to show the hour right there so for this uh, this case i'm just going to choose number and there you go you can see the uh, time so i'm going to go to time right here see the format of the time more number format right here Select just the time, just like this, and you can see that one hour is what you get. You don't get AM and PM right there. So usually when you subtract the numbers and so forth, you do not want to uh, decrease the time and so forth just like that. All right. Anyways, there are different ways to display time. Go to the more number format right here. You can go to custom and you can see there are times right there. So at and mm and am and pm and so forth so you can see that these are the number formats that you get so if you were to press at at uh at and mm so it's hour and minute right there am am and pm press ok you get the same format right there so that is how you work with date and times and uh, have manual dates and times inside of microsoft excel hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe